bought a Rupee rig, just had to play it on this piano. I actually made a full recording of this on the, on the YouTube channel, so you can, uh, you'll find it on there a couple, like one video before this one, the whole thing. But anyway, I'm here today to talk about this beautiful Snow White Yamaha Baby Grand that's going to Washington State. It's going to Woody, and it's for Zoe and Isaac. I'm glad I got the names right. Well, I got a little cheat sheet over here, so I know what's going on. So, it's gonna go to Washington State. So it's gonna be a long trip. Wow. Because, I mean, I don't know if it could go any further within the domestic United States from Florida to Washington State, but that's where it's going, and it's actually gonna be picked up tomorrow. And this piano has a full-blown uh, piano disc prodigy system which is a player system that uh, works off of Bluetooth and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate this piano so you get an idea of how it works and all that and so the first thing that happens when the piano gets delivered is you got to plug it in so if the camera can go underneath the piano I'll show you where the plug is so anyway the power cord is right here and we stash it right up above the rear leg in this little compartment over here this is where we put the power cord it's going to be all bundled up so you're going to take it out and plug it in and you're going to turn it on this is the power for the piano this is the on off switch this is the power supply this is the prodigy processor this is your speaker for the background music and this gadget over here is your pedal solenoid Okay, so, and then everything under here, these are where the solenoids are, which uh, make the piano play. So, once that this is on, then the next thing that you want to do is find your iPad. And you notice we have a white iPad for a white piano. I like that. So, the first thing that we're going to do here, use your passcode. And uh, you're going to go into settings. This is the settings over here. And the next thing that you're going to do is look for Bluetooth. <clears throat> so what happens is that most of the time, I actually pair the iPad that's going with each piano uh, before the piano gets delivered. So that when the piano gets delivered, usually when you turn on the piano, when you turn on your iPad, it's automatically going to uh, find each other in which in this case it did. So if you look over here, you see PD Silent Drive Bluetooth Audio, okay? That's what you look for. And then obviously it's already connected it by itself, so it's all ready to go. So you're gonna get out of there. And this is the app that you have to load into your uh, iPad. It's called um, Piano Disc IQ, okay? So when you go in there, okay, uh, you're gonna have a library that we give you and uh, if you send me your iPad, I'll load all the music into it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press iPod Library, which is what you see here. Sometimes it'll say um, Touch to Sync Library. Sometimes that happens in the event that um, you send me the iPad and we load the music, but we don't sync it. Sometimes the guy that does the iPad stuff, he doesn't get to do that. And so you just do it and it'll, it'll take all the music and um, migrate it from the internal memory into the piano disc app. Now all the, the artwork in here and the, and the albums kind of give you an idea of what type of music that you're going to be listening to. So for instance, if you see this type of artwork here, anything that doesn't have a famous artist's name or picture is usually going to be just piano. So if we click on this, we're going to get into the screen that has all the selections. Okay. So in this uh, particular situation, we'll pick Claire de Lune. And this is the screen that you see that pops up. I'm going to press pause here because it was already playing. So let's go back up a little bit. And what's very important when you get into this screen, the next most important thing you do is you click, you're going to click the speaker icon. And right next to the speaker icon, you'll see this little window with the arrow in it. And what you want to do, you want to click that. Now, this is what you have to see in order to get the piano to play. You're going to see iPad and you're going to see PD silent drive Bluetooth audio with a check mark. If for some reason it's clicked on iPad, okay, and you get that check mark, what's going to happen is you're going to hear that noise coming out of the iPad. 
that's telling you that the signal that's trying to play the piano is coming out of the iPad, not being sent to the piano. So you want to go back in here, you want to click this, press piano disc. See, it switches over. Now you're going to press play. What happens if you lower it too much, then there's not enough energy that uh, enables the piano to play. So you move it up just a little bit so you, until you hear it. So that's piano only music, okay? So the next type of music that we are going to have in here, if you want to go out of the library, is going to be piano with background music. So for instance, if we choose, uh, I was listening to, actually, let me try something else. I like this one here. This is one that, that we just put in and it's kind of cool. I'm not really into country music, but I kind of like this one. Who could not like this one? <laughs> Always on my mind with Willie Nelson. Maybe I love you. Now, the one thing about um, when you play music uh, with background music, incidentally, if you stop a song and a note was just hit, it's going to stay down. It'll eventually come up like you see, so don't worry, that's not anything that's broken. That's just the, that's just the MIDI. But anyway, so when we get back into here, when you, when you play a song with background music, what you always want to do is you want to make sure that the balance control, because this is your balance, this is the, the background music, because you see a little speaker, and this is the piano, because you see the piano. So while this is playing, if you put this all the way over to the piano, you're just going to hear piano, you're not going to hear Willie Nelson. So since the piano is the accompaniment, you want to move the slider mostly all the way over to the speaker so you hear Willie Nelson and the piano in the background. So when we press play here, I would even bring it more. There you go. That's a perfect balance. If you want to go to another song, you'll see that the, the, the uh, balance is going to be the same once you set it. Okay, so you got that. All right, and then the next type of software you're going to have is going to be videos. So if we go back into our, um, so I'm going to delete out of here. So now, if you look at the the selections here, if you see something that looks like a video screen, like this here, that's going to be a video. And I'm going to call up one of, one of the old time favorites here. Let's see. Tony Bennett. How could you not like Tony Bennett? Vince, can we turn all the microphones off? Thanks. Poets, I'm going to put this up on the piano. The camera's going to go around. You can see how beautiful our pianos come out when we leave here. too much of that because it's copyrighted and I don't know they may erase it from YouTube so but that's essentially how that works now we're going to talk a little bit about the piano 
And I never really have done this in, in any videos before, but I'm gonna do it in this one. And this is essentially anybody's first piano lesson after the piano gets delivered. So this is gonna be your first piano lesson. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piano in the way it's going to be when it just arrives to your house. As you see, this is the piano and it's all closed up, all right? Now, what's the most important thing right away you're gonna to wanna to do is open the lid. And you won't, don't wanna open the lid from here because it's way too heavy and you're gonna hurt yourself. So you need to stand over here, flip the top board. By the way, this is called top board. And the whole thing is called the lid. Some people call it a hood, like it's the hood of a car. You can call that if you want, but it's called the lid. Fold it back, okay? And then you're gonna lift the, it up with both hands, okay? And you see two little cups here. One, two. The lower one is for the larger prop stick. It's called a prop stick. And a way to know where the prop stick is supposed to go, it's supposed to be at a 90 degree angle to the lid, as you see over here. Do not put it here because it could slip out and it could hurt somebody. The smaller prop stick goes in this cup here. And as you see, it is at a 90 degree angle like this. So that's the correct way to open the lid. What's funny, a lot of times, I'll see on television and magazine ads, when it used to be magazines, but any, any type of ads for pianos, you'll see them opened up like this. And I've seen this in movies, like this. You'll see it with the prop stick. That's, that's telling you that whoever set up the stage or whatever the set is when they make a movie and put the piano there and set the piano up didn't know what they were doing. This is the way it's supposed to go, okay? All right, so the next thing is going to be what you do with the music desk. This is called the music desk. Now the music desk slides in and out, and the way you slide it in and out is you have one hand over here, one hand over here, and you make sure the keyboard cover, or fall board, they call it a fall board because it falls down, is in the down position. Because if it's not, and you open this, you're gonna scratch it. So when you take this out, one hand on each side, you take it and you can place it and if you have to, if you drop something inside or whatever, you can retrieve it or if you wanna clean it or whatever. And if you're gonna clean it, you wanna use compressed air. Don't use any type of cloths inside the piano or chemicals. Compressed air is the best thing. And not from, a, from an aerosol can, just like from a compressor that you should have in your garage if you want to fill up the tires of the car. Same thing to blow out the dust from the piano. Okay, and again, this is the, the, the fall board which closes the piano and opens, and that's, that's pretty much it. It's very, very, very simple. Now inside the piano, let's talk about what we do here at Piano Outlet. So if the camera comes around here, we're gonna talk a little bit about what what happens to each piano when they arrive here, okay? So the first thing that we do is we remove all the strings in the piano, remove all the screws, and we take this iron plate out. And that gives us access to the inside of the piano so that we can clean it like no one else can, okay? We use a machine, we polish the soundboard, because when these pianos come in, they're used, they're dirty inside, they're left open. This piano is about a 1990. So this piano's 30 some odd years old. You wouldn't know it from looking at it today because of the work that we've done to it. As when we take everything out, we uh, clean everything back to the way it was when it was new. And then um, when we replace everything, we put all brand new strings. We clean each damper head so that it's nice and shiny again. We clean all the hardware so nothing looks oxidized or in some cases rusty. All the tuning pins are changed to brand new ones. Everything is cleaned back to new standards. So essentially, you get a brand new piano. So we'll put this back here. And some other things that we do, which you're, you don't really see now. So, so like, for instance, see that wheel? So that gets a new wheel. And actually, you're going to see what it looks like in the Brand new wheels from the factory, and 
you put a brand new one. You can clean those, but what will happen is uh, these come from the factory with a, with a coating on it. And um, when they have the coating, they're not going to oxidize as quick. But if you take an old wheel and polish it, it's just going to turn black again. So really what you want to do is you want a brand new wheel. So we do brand new wheels, pedal rods, uh, the rubber bumpers. See the rubber bumpers that you see here? Okay, those are brand new. Um, rubber grommets on the pedals so they don't squeak. All kinds of little things that nobody would ever think about. So anyway, I want to thank Woody for his patience and picking up this piano from us. I'm very, very proud to send it out to you and I think you're gonna enjoy it for many, many year, years to come. And uh, good luck with it and thank you so much. Also, again, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet and uh, if anybody sees this piano or any of the other ones on our YouTube channel and wanna get in touch with us, our number is 954-803-3319. And if you are a piano aficionado, don't forget to um, click a like. I know, I gotta get used to saying that, click like. I, I, every time I watch these videos, everybody says click the like button. So, I'm gonna say the same thing. And subscribe. Thank you very much.